plant shopping time at Home Depot. Let's go inside and check out the house plants. That's why we came here. Um, I was actually here yesterday for another reason. Um, you know, at Home Depot, you get your um, home decor, or not home decor, but like home fix it project stuff. And um, sorry, I'm distracted by this Hoya here. So, of course, naturally, I come in here to check out the uh, plants, and they have this new brand that came in. So, it's gonna be really exciting to see how that takes off. Right here, this is the new brand of plants that came in. This is the Plant View Pure, it has lots of um, cacti and succulents. So, look at this cowboy cactus. How fun is that? Those are fun. And then you have the um, whale fin. How majestic. There's also some hoyas here. This is the one that I was distracted by when I was like doing the introduction. Look at all that. Look at the white on there. That is so cool. Thing I like about this is that they actually tell you what the plants are. The hoya albo and how to care for it. Because you know, I always criticize certain brands, <clears throat> like mostly Costa Farm stuff, that um, they never label their stuff properly. Ah, get in there. That's a cool plant. And I think they're only like 13 bucks or something. Ooh, I really gotta fix that. Yeah, 13 bucks for that, and it has a nice little ceramic pot. Okay, I think this is just gonna have to go upside down. I'm sorry. <laughs> But um, yeah, I do like the pots. I do look at pots sometimes because, you know, oh, oh, these are cool. And you know what? They actually sold quite a good number of plants already. I love those pots. I'm, I'm vibing with the pots here, guys. Because sometimes, you know, um, a lot of plants, they just, they come with the pots that I just like don't care for. And then I feel like I'm paying overpriced because of the, um, I'm paying for the pot and it's like, I don't even like it. Here's another Hoya that has definitely a lot more green to it. This one is another Hoya. Australia's pretty and check out these like these are so cool okay so this is um yeah i mean that's neat i like those pots so this is by plain view growers here's some more cacti back there Oh, these are gonna be so fun. Yeah, Plain View Pure. Awesome. Have some more. Oh, I love these pots. This has more of like a minty green to it. I love that. Beautiful. I don't know much about cacti and I should probably get more into it. Uh, oh, but look at these. Ooh, begonias. Okay, I will look at those in a second. Hold on. Look at these babies right here. I love these little pots. I love these little succulents. And they're so chunky and adorable. And then you have the ones that are like more, more pencil-like. I want to say like a pencil width apart. And then they have one that's braided. Wow, that is so pretty. How much are these? Six dollars. That's it. That's that. That's fun. That's cute. I really like that. And then we also have some begonias here. Beautiful begonias, I'm a sucker for them. Love the, ah, uh, let's see here. Can you see that? It's like fuzzy, fuzzy little petiole, and then you have the burgundy undersides. And here is another one. Oh, that, that's giving off like Halloween, or not Halloween, like, but that's definitely giving off like fall vibes. Actually, I'm just gonna put some of them up top here so I have room to view some things, but oh yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful plant. And then there's another begonia here that's like 
more of like a red, all red. Ooh, that's satiny, beautiful red. $16 for these. Red Bull Rex. Oh, see, I like how they give the full name and the information. And here is a little spider plant. Oh, it's in a little, like, wick pot. $13, that's not bad, especially when it like, comes in a little um, pot like that. Has lots of babies coming out on it. And then there's some blooms over there, those white blooms. <laughs> Some agaves and some variegated. Wow. Euphorbias, look at those. Ooh, I'm gonna zoom in because it's like actually wrapped in a plastic. But look how beautiful that is. It's a beautiful plant. Look at those needles too. Ooh. Pinch pinch. Ouchie ouch. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see a little bit with the foil over it, but or the wrapping over it, but that's beautiful. Euphorbias. Yeah, trigona. Beautiful. Some shark fins. What is this one here? That looks fun. A petunia monocantha prickly pear. Wow, that's really full. Epiphilium. The fishbone cactus. Wow, these are like 13 bucks too. Oh yeah, you know what? They're gonna give Costa Farms a run for their money. Mm-hmm. And proven winners too. So good luck. I hope I mean their plants look great. Yeah, I definitely think that uh this brand here, the plane I gotta look at it again, sorry. Plain View Pure, I think is definitely going to be hit in the markets and it's going to be successful, I believe, simply because these tags matter, okay? Like there's so many other plant brands that they don't tell you anything about the plant, how to care for it, um, or it's very generic, you know, and not all plants are uh, one size fits all. So I will be really excited to see how uh, this brand does and hopefully they bring in more to my local stores beads out isn't that crazy okay so yeah smart planet that has been a brand in uh, my store for a little while so let's just look at some of these here neat little succulents you know sometimes people like steal the succulents out of these and then they're they're just left with the pots and I'll go up to the customer service and I'll be like, look, somebody stole this stuff. I looked for the missing one and I couldn't find it. So can you guys like sell this to me for like half off? And they usually just give it to me. They're like, just take it. This is gonna have to be replenished soon. <laughs> Some dead stuff. It's magave or aloe, aloe. <laughs> Some Sansevieria, that's a really cool looking one. Always fun. Let's see, they got this tray over here. Yeah, cacti can be fun. I really should get more into them. I love that blue. I love the blue. <laughs> Gosh, I just want to want to touch any of them. You know, when I worked at Lowe's, sometimes we would have to, um, you know, like rearrange these things. Oh, I would get stuck with these so bad. And the, it wasn't be like the big ones, like the big spiky ones. It was the fine little ones that felt like fiberglass stuck in your um, skin. It was horrible. Okay, look at this one with that red hue from the spikes. Neat. I like that little round ball one right there, that globe. Pretty. Nice bulb selection they got here. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a 
more of a bronzy hue. Red orange, hmm, I like the outline. See that? Neat, okay, back to house plants. All right, so this is the Vigoro brand. Their plants are pretty solid too. They're usually um, less expensive than like proven winners and stuff. Ooh, look at, uh, look. It's a proven winner. This, they totally are not doing the setup right for their. Okay, the Triostar. Sure, yeah, Triostar. Look how beautiful that is. It's a little crispy though, but I love the coloring. Oh, this is what they call a Chinese evergreen. Look how beautiful that is. The greens and whites. Looks like camouflage in a way. That's pretty, that's a pretty plant. But this is like how not to display plants, okay? You put your junk all in front of them. <laughs> Let's move that out of the way. All right, now we got some viewing. Oh, colocasias. Oh, calculata alocasia right there. Look at that beautiful leaf. Now, I was here a few days or a few weeks ago. Yeah, see, I see spider webs already, like little mite spider webs. So, these are probably really infected with stuff. Oh, that's a shame. Monstera starting to fenestrate. Oh, and this beautiful little. Alocasia right here. Oh, look with the pink stems. <gasps> Marabi night. Ooh, that's a pretty one. I don't see any spider mites on it or any webbing. It has that burgundy, dark burgundy underside to it. Yeah, that is a pretty one. I love that pink. Stems. Oh, here's another one. Let's see how that one is. They kind of just. Oh, these are going to be ruined. This one's just unfurling. That one is kind of unfurling too. Let's strain that up. <laughs> but this is another one with the pink stems. How pretty. And the sunbred philodendron. So I got one of these a while ago and mine did not fare well. But I mean, look at the new leaf, how glossy that is. It's so pretty. Some Tratoscantia, feeling flirty. Nice little lilac colored uh, striping on the green leaves, green and white leaves. Back here. What we got back here? I know, they're so dark. Oh look, there's like no water in these either. Ugh. Yeah, there's absolutely no water in this. So that's why plants die. Looking for a present for your little kitties. Cat grass, complete with toy. Catnip too. We got more pots over here. I like I like Home Depot pots. I think like in my area at least they have like the best assortment of stuff. Two dollars fifty cents. These are kind of neat. These four too. These babies are glorious. This Calathea orbifolia it has some new growth right in there. Nice leaves. Over this alocasia. Ooh, what kind is this? This is dragon scale, but I don't, I'm not buying it's a dragon scale. Maybe. Some philodendron right here. Oh, and look at this ficus. These are beautiful plants. I sold mine. I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't. Ferns, these lace ferns, oh my goodness. Beautiful blue color. Yes. Stunning. Lacacias. Coccolata. 
I don't see any spider webs on here, so maybe this section is at least free of spider mites. But yeah, that one cart, that cart over there is just like infested with them. Gorgeous bobies, finiki, tiniki. What am I talking about? Ficus. I couldn't get the words out. Looks like they have one of those lily pad one ficus out here too, and then they have a philodendron green Florida. Oh, look at the new growth. Hello, babies. <laughs> Beautiful plants, yeah. I guess this is, these are the new ones. Yeah, snakeys. They must have just arrived. Rojo Congo, Rojo. Oh, yeah, and these are kind of, these are like growing on me, yeah? These are a ficus too. They're kind of whimsical and I like that. They're just like 30 bucks a pop and I don't know. There's some light variegation on it. You can see like dark green, light green outline. And then a Calathea here that's like, I love feeling this. I absolutely love touching this plant. <laughs> it's so soft and so fuzzy on the undersides. And they had that beautiful sheen. Oh, well, this is a huge, what do they call this? I wanna say elephant ear, it's definitely not an elephant ear. Ah. The name is escaping me. I even had one. <laughs> ah, anyway. Alright, so little pots. Lots of uh, syngoniums and pothos. Got some stuff down here too. More syngoniums. They have that pink splash on them. Fun. Okay, yeah. These pots are wild. They look like marble almost. Here's a better one. I like that with the neutral brown colors. I have a ZZ Raven and that would look really pretty in those. Some bromeliads. They had a really gorgeous bromeliad with like a white pink bloom and silver foliage. I should have grabbed it when they had it, but I procrastinated and somebody else bought it. More orchids. Always a sucker for the purples. Cart back here. Let's see what's hiding back here. Ooh, nice. Oh. Yeah, this is what they call the friendship plant. I love the texture and the feel of it. I actually have to repot mine. That's a big leaf right there. This looks, it's, it feels so fun. Uh, some of these are actually dead. Oh geez, these look like those waffle plants. Look at these begonias. Oh. Beautiful coloring on these begonias. I think I'm gonna pick one of these up. And there's a house, there's a gnat on one of them. Lovely. Yeah, but these are not too, the waffle plants just dried up. I guess somebody forgot to water them. They usually stick them underneath tables and then they kind of just are forgotten about. Needs to actually probably get some fertilizer too. I'm gonna have to weed through this and get some fertilizer. Oh, but here's some more house plants. Yeah, see, 1307 for that beauty. Mmm. Let's see. Yeah, sometimes I could get some good deals here. These are five bucks right here. Nice. 
this one is so beautiful 18 bucks okay so you really only save two dollars for that one but i love the design on that very beautiful these are kind of neat i like that with the design Ooh. so let's see what else we got here some snake plants Defimbachias, i guess or aglaminias how do you tell the difference just by looking at them between the two does anybody know Put that in the comments. The difference between Defenbachia and Aglaonemias. Aglaonemas. Great fall. Ooh, it's so tropical and f but fall looking too. <laughs> Last stop is we'll look at these here. These alloys. Oh, those are so wild. This is Smart Plants. Um, oh, I love these little jar kind of looking pots. How much is it? Nine bucks. Those are adorable. Love that. Actually, I was just at my thrift store and I picked up some stuff, but I'm always on the lookout because I always change things in my home according to the season. But yeah, I scored some decent plants. Oh, look at these. String of pearls. Yeah. Mm. Not good. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, that's not good. This is wild. Oh, and these are dead, my friend. They are just, they're dead. Get rid of them. Yeah, a lot of things are rotting here. Um, looks like we have some type of a variegated cactus back here. Aptunia Sunburst. You know, sometimes when I like say these plant names, I feel like I'm speaking Harry Potter language. <laughs> Not that I don't mind Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Yeah, these dragon scales. So green and beautiful. Oh, see, this is not a, like, that's not a dragon scale. That's something very dark and different. This is a dragon scale. Hmm. But look at that contrast with the green and the dark veining. These are 20 bucks. Usually these pots like this from Proven Winners, um, the Leaf Joy line, 20 bucks. Larger ones, they're 30. Like these um, type of fabric ones. I like this one. That's kind of neat. It's like, it kind of reminds me of like upcycled denim. This is an, a new vendor here, at least in my store. So I'm excited to see what they bring out in the future. And I mean, $8 for you know, that's that's a decent price. They actually have lots of evergreens and shrubs for 50% off. Oh, and this one is so soft. Creeping juniper, all gold. Ooh. Yeah, that one's not really pokey. I wonder how much this is. Ooh. Probably like... 15 bucks That's nice Okay, so it was originally 27 so yeah, I would imagine around 15 bucks. That's beautiful I should pick one up oh There's so many here. There's so many evergreens. I got I got Look at this euonymus Yeah Again, that would be like 12 bucks. <laughs> Can't beat that. Nice. Some hollies. Um, what is this? I'm not sure. Huh. I really don't know what this is. Or if this is even an evergreen. Or a deciduous tr uh, shrub. I'm not sure. Hmm. Some more hollies, and then that strappy plant. What is this? It's kind of neat. Probably like it's some type of a hedge, but 
the one plant that I really want to get is this baby right here. It'll be 40 bucks after. Um, okay, it's not the red bud. It's the um, dogwood flower right here. Ooh, this is the fall color. I love red foliage. The leaves are green during the summer, and then of course they have those blooms in the spring that everybody loves in a dogwood. But I don't see a tag for it, or else I show you a picture, but yeah, that's, that's the plant I want to get. 50% off, can't beat that. Oh, we got some arborvitaes, you know, I gotta pick up some arborvitaes. 60 bucks, so they would be 30. That price jumped a lot but some of these are okay there's a little bit of brown in them um yeah i gotta i actually have to get some ah some hydrangeas you got the pink ones look how look at that foliage that's fun i love the purple though i'm a sucker for purple And this looks like a spirea. Oh yeah, it is. Gold mound. Look at the foliage on that one though. Gold mound, yeah. See, I love that with the new the new growth. In the spring it's like this vibrant color and then in the fall it is too. Well, actually in the summer it has that um, coloring and then they have blooms too. Some lemon thread cypress, really great plant. More euonymus. There's like these little pines. I wouldn't grow. Yeah, these pines get big. They're pokey. Oh, um, 15 to 20 feet high. That's not terrible. Oh no, 40 feet high. Okay, Bosnian pine. That's really pokey. That's way too big for my garden. Some variegated hollies. Look at the new growth. They have that red on there. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna get a bunch of rhododendrons. Lowe's has bigger ones that are gonna go on sale, so I'm gonna get mine up at Lowe's. And the roses, roses. Two whole sections dedicated to roses. They even have the drift. Ooh, ooh, what is this one? Time to smell the roses, pink princess. Okay, so this has a fragrance to it. Hmm. Yeah, I could smell it. There is, there is one. Yep, it's definitely this one. Wow, just that little thing, I could smell it. Imagine when it's all like in bloom. Drift roses here, these are really great and really re reliable. Apricot drift. So, yeah, 50% off. Nice, you got a nice selection. Stuff that's still looking healthy too. You don't want to get ones that are like too dried out, but yeah, that, that juniper. That's really beautiful. Yeah, and that's a ground, that's like more of a ground hugging plant. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna have to pick some of these up. Definitely. All right, so. Yeah, they just like cleared out all the tables because they are getting their red ponts in. This is their Christmas stuff. Remind you, it's not even the end of October, and they're putting up the Christmas stuff. Okay, Hinoki Cypress Fern Spray Gold. That is actually really pretty. Six to 12 feet high. Ooh, negative 30. That's a pretty one. It's 40 bucks. Okay. That's a neat structure. I like that. I really do like that. Hmm. Oh my. We got some blue spruces, the tiny ones. 
They're like 35 bucks though. They take forever to grow. A Leyland Cypress Emerald Isle. 60 to 70 feet tall. Oh my goodness. That's too big. Too big. Some more. See, people are buying them up already. And what is, ooh, ooh, this feels so nice. That feels so soft and so nice. Atlantic White Cedar, top point. 17 bucks. That look, these look really stressed for some reason. Here's a nice one, I think. Oh, it has like that bluey, bluish green. Then it has like the reddish uh, branches to it. That's pretty. That's different. I like how it's soft. Like, I like to touch things, so. Um, it gets four to six feet tall. Nice. Here's an Arborvitae Green Giant they label it as, but this is very yellow. Huh. I wonder if it's a... Yeah, I mean, look how dark green it is in the picture, and then look at the, the yellowing of the leaves. It's very yellow. Hey, so thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, hit subscribe. I go to like local garden centers, big box stores, do like tours of like their new inventory. I have my own garden at home, and I have my indoor garden of all my tropics and house plants. So. Um, and also I go to different gardens too and visit those. So if that's something that you like, hit subscribe and I'll check you next time. Bye.